Backwards out into pointing fingers And that's a bad excuse for sitting on your ass when you can play I would never laugh at somebody's condition, but put it one in the side chat if you've seen somebody's head yesterday that just was like, holy blurp. <laughs> oh my goodness, people, people, you can't make this stuff up. I'm like, oh my God, holy, holy baloney, people. And she had that, remember Laverne and Shirley, remember Squiggy? He had that little, that little strand of hair coming down over his, his like cranium forehead. And I'm like, <laughs> what is it? And then she had that piece, and she tried to comb it down real quick. She tried to comb down that strand of hair to cover that <laughs> massive forehead. <laughs> I'm like, girl, just go with it. Even listen, sometimes you just gotta rock it. I mean, don't try to, don't try to listen. <laughs> don't try to look. I got a bang. <laughs> oh, bless her heart. I felt, I actually felt bad for her that moment. I'm not gonna kid. Don't let the nervous laughter um, lead you to be otherwise. I actually felt bad. I was like, oh, <laughs> oh. Oh, God. Scamber, if you're out there, listen. I would just shave that whole head. You know what I mean? Do you know what I, I mean? I think that's solid advice. I would just shave whatever's left on the top of her head and just rock the whole look, right? Put a one in the side chat if you think she should just shave the whole head and just just rock it. Amber, if you're out there, um, from a stylist, right? I would say, if you were sitting in my chair and you came in with that Lenny and Squiggy hair um, and you came in with that cranium, right? It's not a... We, we've got a, you've passed the exit of forehead and five head like 10 miles back, right? It's, it's truly, I mean, I mean. <laughs> my friend, my friend. And then you got the glasses. <laughs> Can you get contacts? Are you eligible for contacts? Have you spoke to your optometrist? Um, is that a thing, optometry? Is that what we call it? Listen, have you spoke and did a consultation perhaps? Because it looks like, it looks like you've got pretty eyes. Let me put that out there. It looks like you've got pretty eyes. So to hide them behind those spectacles, right, with that... Because <laughs> they almost, at this point, look like space goggles, right? I would say, listen, if we were on, like, a makeover show, I would say, let's rock this out. Let's change the look up. Let's get rid of the goggles, right? Let's show the eyes for what they are. Now, I wasn't close enough to see if they were, you know, tilted in the right... You know, what we'd have to do is we'd have to put a little, like a little laser beam on each one, take them out at nighttime and shine them onto the house to see if, you know, that's the best way to test. Put a little light on them, right? Take you outside, out back, tell you to look at the house and then see if, if <laughs> see if, see if one is, see if we got a light going way off, you know, and then we got to align it. We got to align your, align your eyes there somehow. But assuming your, your eyes are somewhat aligned, right? Bang, right listen, here's the thing. We can get those li eyes in alignment, right? Um... We got something to work with. Shave the head. Get, get all that off your hair because it's a distraction. Get rid of the goggles. Basically, just strip you down. Strip you down and just, you know, just build you back up, right? Less is more kind of thing. Everybody was wondering, where's alopecia? How do I get there? Um, listen, it's literally, it's, it's literally located on Amber's head. <laughs> just, I always wondered where alopecia was located. Well, now you know. Um, right there, uh, slap dab on Amber's head is the land of alopecia with all of their little alopecians um, living, living their best alopecian lives. Oh, my goodness. I, I've never dated an alopecian before. Listen, I hear they're quite, they're quite, they know their way around the bedroom, right? So all you ladies out there, all you ladies out there, uh, you might want you might want to consider an alopecian. All right, don't be surprised if you wake up bald the next morning. <laughs> right? Trust me, your garden will be tended to. Right? Smooth like a smooth like a little pussy cat down here. But listen, uh, those alopecians don't play. <laughs> Just ask Amber. You can tell she's been with an alopecia too. <laughs> oh, bless her heart. Gotta love her, people.